Hey Sam, I'm just going to make a video going over the InDesign Portfolio Booklet project. Um, it's worth 15% of the overall grade for this course. It's definitely required to even pass the course. Uh, files due Sunday, December 4th before 11.30 p.m. in Brightspace. So that would actually be, um, let's see, uh, December 4th is the basically the end of week 14. Week 15 is just going to be kind of like a wrap-up week, and then week 16 is going to be your final presentation week, where you present your three client projects, your reworked project, um, any additional projects that you include in your portfolio booklet, and um, if you have a portfolio website, we can look at it here as well um, during your final presentation. You'll have to find a third faculty member. Um, so I will create a discussion for that soon, but that's besides the point. Let's get back into the portfolio project worksheet. Um, so this is for the booklet. This we will basically be constructing a booklet in full color using InDesign. Um, this booklet will feature your work as a designer. The booklet pages will be set up to 8.5 by 11 inches um, and with an eighth inch bleed and definitely make sure to leave the facing pages checkbox checked when you set up your InDesign document. Um, the page count for this booklet needs to be in increments of four pages. So it needs to be evenly divisible by four. So that means four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. I doubt you'll go much over 20 pages, uh, depending on how much you decide to include in your booklet. Obviously, the, the longer your booklet gets, the more expensive it is to print. Um, the exact length of the booklet will depend on, yeah, exactly how many uh, works you feature and how much text you write about each piece. Uh, we actually did a booklet project last year in the Graphic Design 350 class, the class that you took with me where we designed using InDesign. Um, so this booklet will feature your digital work as well as your traditional media art pieces. Obviously highlight your strengths, downplay your weaknesses, think about what potential employers want to see, um, and you will give us this booklet, three printed copies. Um, when you give your final presentation at the end of the semester, you can either print those um, in Colorado and then send them in the mail, or you can send me the P PDF file to the MSU Northern Library and pay for it over the phone. Um, and I can go print, I can go pick them up at the library. And we'll probably do like a Zoom or a WebEx uh, presentation for you. Um, but we'll definitely need to um, print those up. And I would say a spiral bound book is probably going to be the best bet. It seemed like most students last year did a spiral bound book. So just keep that in mind. Um, I don't think you're going to end up stapling it. I think it'll be spiral bound. But anyway, it'll be a copy for myself, one for Joel, and one for another faculty member of your choosing that will be attending your final presentation. Um, so please remember to use high quality images, 300 ppi higher. And definitely put them in CMYK color mode. You need to check the effective PPI in the links panel um, within InDesign on each of those images. And they need to be in CMYK and the effective PPI needs to be at 300 or above. Um, you can control click on file names in the links panel and then go to edit with Photoshop or Illustrator, depending on what they're made in. And you can edit them, you know, in Photoshop, you can go to image at the top menu, um, mode CMYK to get your images in, in CMYK color mode. Um, in Illustrator, you can go to File, Document, Color Mode, and then you can put it in CMYK. Um, if you need help with that, just let me know in the future. Uh, and so, yeah, the front and back cover should reflect who you are as a graphic designer or artist in just a few moments. Um, use your color scheme, you know, choose a color scheme carefully. Color is a great way to convey emotion. Uh, also, think of featuring some of your favorite work on the front as well. Uh, a collage might be interesting of, of different work along with text forms or lettering. Um, or you can just do a completely different design. It doesn't necessarily have to be your work. You can make new work um, for the cover, back cover. Um, just make sure you include something that conveys who you are as an artist or designer that represents you well. And, um, you know, definitely pick a good font pair. Um, this portfolio booklet will include each of the three client projects that you completed for this course. Uh, 
It's required that you include text detailing the original goal for each of your client projects. And this text should outline the purpose of the project, any client details, a description of the stages of the project is also required. So you'll have to include thumbnails, rough drafts, um, any additional changes that took place, and then describe, you know, some of the challenges faced, how you solved the problems. Um, tell us, you know, about the final product. Was the client pleased? Um, and highlight the final version of your client projects in the booklet. If possible, make them bigger than the rough drafts and the thumbnails, etc. Um, if possible. And then you'll include your reworked project and any other projects that you've created outside of this course that you think will highlight your design abilities. Um, you can always touch up improved or improved designs before you add them to the booklet. Even small changes can really make a difference. Um, you don't have to include thumbnails in various stages for these projects, but you should have a brief description of the project's client details and maybe some of the challenges and how you've solved those challenges. Um, you will also include a section in your booklet of, that features your original artwork done in traditional media, like paintings, drawings, photography, that kind of thing. Um, anything not done in the computer, basically. Um, you know, you'll include a paragraph that goes over the project details, challenges, process that you took. You'll need to take photos of these projects um, with decent lighting, which I think you already have done. So, you know, you have those images ready. They're already in CMYK color mode. Um, so those can be in there, um, in your booklet included, at least 15 traditional media. Uh, your booklet should include a clear headline, title of some sort in the front cover. Um, try using cool font pair. Think about using space creatively. Make sure you include a, a design layout that reflects you as a graphic designer and artist. Your design should highlight your strengths. Any symbolize, symbolism that ties into your work as an artist. A good color scheme. Three client projects, your rework class project. There were your rework part project, sorry. Uh, text explaining those projects and then any additional product projects. Uh, you can be a little bit more brief with the, your additional projects. And then also your... Um, Traditional media should be included too. I didn't put that in there, but um, threaded text boxes, headlines or titles for each section if necessary. You know, you can use text wraps, good font pair, usually a more decorative one for headlines, and then a super legible one for the body copy, and then page numbers. Um, Think about hierarchy of design. How will the imagery and the, how will the viewer interact with your booklet? How will they discover it? What will they say they see first, next, next? Definitely keep text out of the middle fold area. Um, and then upload a zip file in Brightspace by the due date. The zip file should include the INDD file, links folder, fonts, and a high resolution PDF file with bleeds and crop marks included. Um, make sure you export out your PDF document with the bleed settings um, included. And you can use the file package feature in InDesign to get your files ready for Brightspace and then zip file, create a zip file from that package folder. Um, you can print at the MSU Northern Library. I'm, I'm guessing that's what you're going to have to do, Sam. Um, you know, this is their email. You'll attach the PDF file to the email. You'll indicate the size, color, number of copies, which will need three paper type, you know, whether it's matte or glossy, and then uh, when it will be ready, how much it will cost, you know, and then you can, you probably have to call them and give them your credit card information or, or call the business office and pay over the phone. Um, tell them to print at actual size. Definitely give them at least 48 hours before your presentation to print. I would say even more than that, especially for a booklet because they're longer. Um, Florence Printing might be a good place to go to besides the library. I can always go down there and pick it up as long as you give me enough time to get down there before you actually have to give your presentation. Um, definitely spiral bound book booklets are probably the way to go. Um, the process, you know, this is basically um, pretty straightforward. You can read through this yourself as well, but uh, that's basically the InDesign Portfolio Booklet Project, and it's worth quite a bit of the grade, so we definitely, and you have to do it to pass the course. So um, definitely, you know, get started on the thumbnail. I just want one thumbnail, but I want you to tell me kind of what you plan on including in it, and it should give you an, a good idea of how you're going to be laying out 
your design and maybe you know spend a little bit of time on the front and back cover uh, ideas so that you can kind of get a good idea of what you want to do for that. All right, I'll talk to you later.